Hello. Episode two slash stream number two. Let's continue. That's the wrong one. There we are. Oh. It's night time. Looks like I should sleep. Okay. What was I smelting? Oh, damn. That's a lot of iron. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in there. Sticky pistons. How do you make a lever again? Is it... I remember it was weird. It was... Yeah, stone on the bottom, stick on the top. But then I always got confused because there's stone on the top of it too. Oh. I can use this at some point. I'm definitely going to use these tripwire things. What do I do today then? Got full armor. Don't know. <laughs> I look like Sid. <laughs> Nipper he. Uh, I could make improvements to my home, or I could try and go further down in the mine. I think I had a bunch of stone, so I might try and finish off this bridge area. Oh, I think I dumped all of my stone. Never mind. I can still go out here and uh, start plugging this area for the expansion. Beautiful. Oh, why would I delete that? Alright, so this is what I've gotten so far. That's the start. I'm going to need more dirt. We never have enough dirt. Where do I dig my dirt from? This looks beautiful. Okay. I should make a shovel. Ooh. I forgot I added that sound effect. The original OG sound effects. Wood. Where is there no... Where's the Minecraft music gone? There we go. Hopefully it comes on soon. Is it playing? Guess I'll just leave it at that. See if it comes on at some magical moment. I 
I don't want to completely destroy this landscape, but I do also need dirt. So I guess I'll just remove the floating stuff. Is this stuff floating? Kinda. Hello, pigos. Whatever. Uh. Alright, so I got a stack and ten of dirt. Where's me old? This doesn't look very nice. There we go. Alright, time to plug her up. Fully aware of how that sounded. I will make it look a little bit more natural, but then the, the uh, idea for now is to try and make it look a bit stable. It's not bad looking. This is all going to be filled. It's going to be another layer of stone over the top. I guess I could start digging the tunnel. The question is, is it's going to come out in the roof. So will I have to dig one level down? Oh crap, it looks like it. Where is this coming out? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's going to be three by three, so... Plug this back up. Wait, no, even should I? Because I'm going to have to build this all out of wood anyway. I guess for now I'll just put this here. Right, so at least I know where I have to come out. question is, do I want like a slight curve? Oh my god. Hey Queen. It's been ages. Oops. not been ages. I was here like earlier, I think, but I don't talk, so. Okay, that's fine. You don't gotta talk. You just have to give me money. That's a joke. 
that's not a joke. Wait, what? Why has my pole just started running? So I'm trying to play through the 1.18 update of Minecraft because I haven't played Minecraft in ages. So I'm sort of like a, an old player coming back and uh, giving it a new experience. Although I'm a sucker for old Minecraft, so all the old sound effects. Yeah, those are back. If I hurt myself, hold on. There you are. I have no idea why my pole just started. I didn't begin that. I think it's set on like a schedule or something. But why would I want a pole on a schedule? Or maybe I didn't complete it. I am not an old man. What are you, nine? Huh? It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I I'm I should be nine if I'm playing Minecraft. I'm a 22-year-old man playing Minecraft. On a Monday. <laughs> it would be more socially acceptable for me to be nine years old playing this. Aren't you of the, uh, if I remember correctly, aren't you of the age to be still at school? So, it makes more sense for you to be playing this than me. Do you want to fly out and just take over? Just take over the stream. Wait, what? Where were I streaming this morning? No. I've only just started streaming. I've literally been on for 15 minutes. Why am I building this again? Yeah, I've only been on for like 15 minutes. I was streaming yesterday. I stream typically from 11 and onwards, just for the whole day. Uh, I usually take a break around midday and then come back around like 5, is the way it works. What are you doing today, Queen? You busy? Not at the moment. You're going to kill yourself. And then three more tests in one week. See, that is why I'm glad to be 22 years old. No more of that stuff. December is a love-hate relationship with your school life. It's a, it's a sort of, we're going to try and bombard you as hard as possible, but at the same time, it's Christmas, jingle bells, fun times. I love when teachers are, like, fun. I never actually had any good teachers, so... Whenever anybody talks about having good teachers and stuff like that, or, like, having 
fun Christmas stuff. You don't really celebrate Christmas. You have a different religion. I mean, I'm not religious, but I'm. I'm still. I still kind of. You know, I still like Christmas. If you're a, if you're a, like, European person, or just a Western person, you sort of just, Christmas is less of a religious thing nowadays than it is just a light celebration where you force feed your family members. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like being force fed, but... I mean, I, I very seldom see like a Christian family going full on with the uh, religious aspect of Christmas. Christmas just became annoying, and there is like no snow now. Yeah, well, I don't really get snow here. I'm right on the edge. I don't know where you live, but snow is sort of like far and few between. I know you get a lot of it, like, in the UK there's a lot. Every single time it snows, it's like, Manchester is dead. There are no more. The whole population has now is now deceased from just how much. You're not in the UK. Are you European? You have too good a grasp of English. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh... Well, it's like... Obviously, some parts of Europe, like Italy is like one of the best places in Europe if you're just going for temperature. Because you have mountains and oh, it's just got everything. But, um... Typically, like... Unless you live in, like, Bulgaria or something like that. I don't actually know. Uh, do I dig this whole bit up here? Or do I just... Nah, I just... I don't really need this raised bit here. Did I break my shovel already? Jesus. What? What? Are you uh are you doing anything for Christmas though? So, like is your family getting everyone around? Cause you know how like families like to uh be normal for the whole year and then when it comes around Christmas time they're like we've got to get together. I'm excited for Christmas. Like last year I wasn't um I wasn't even able to go have a kind of Christmas celebration with anyone in my family. So it's like we kind of just sort of did our own set of Christmases, which is kind of the opposite point of Christmas. kind of nice. Well, we can't actually put one up in our, like, apartment that we're in. It's pretty much just flat out too small. Normally, in, like, my family house, then yeah. Like, my, my mother goes full on. 
she goes, um, she she buys like at least a six foot plus tree. There's needles from the tree everywhere. It's amazing. It does smell nice though. Music's a bit loud. There we go. Hold on, let me get rid of this. I can't have a real tree because cat. Oh, they love trees though. My uh, my cat before she died, she loved tinsel. We would only. My mum doesn't even like tinsel. She thinks it's like tacky. But she would only get tinsel out just so the cat could sit in it. Let me uh quickly turn off this stream labs thing. When we used to have a real tree, she would climb up, <laughs> climb on it. Yeah, but that's the whole point. It's fun. That's like their one bit of fun. Oh, good God, no. That was terrible. Good at science, but I was terrible at math. I never enjoyed it, so I just never bothered trying to get better. Pole. Well, I'm older now, and I, I like maths that I'm older. I just sort of bundled up maths with the idea of it, um, with school. You know, I, I hated it. It was just like a PTSD trauma type thing where you think, oh god, maths. But it's not. It's school. Holy crap, this is deep underneath here. This is so deep, I had no idea. Like, if you go on YouTube and you look up different things... <laughs> I'm not going to drown. If you look up, like, different things like... um, Like, fractal equations and all that sort of stuff, then I that is really cool. Oh, a little lagoon. Got like under house storage in here. Look at this. A secret. I'm going to keep this as like a little secret. Oh, that's going to take ages. There we go. Yeah, that's like a cool little secret area under there. I like. I like to make everything look like it's sort of structural. You know, like have that there. Even though this is looking awful so far, I'm going to make it look better in the future. I just want like a basic load out kind of this is this is where uh stuff will happen that's the idea stuff sh I'll put a door on a door 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 A nice door. Uh, where's the wood? Okay. So this is going to be sort of like an open area, I guess. Kind of grassy. I figured this would make a cool 
mine shaft sort of thing. Yeah, I can make it a garden. It's a bit unnatural to have this like this, isn't it? But I can make it look nicer. Just sort of disperse cobble in. Got that. Or just that was, that's grass. Okay, there you go. Or just fill in the gaps. Not that to sort of make it look like it's actually there we go it's sort of like it's messy but it's neat oh, it's raining No, I kind of. I guess I'll just leave it like this. Like that. Now that juts in too far. It got real steamy when the rain turned on. Oh, these bamboos grow so tall. So this is my idea. I sort of have like a basic straight down type system. Because you have to go so deep now. What is this? What is this on my... What is this thing? Oh, I guess it was like darkness. <laughs> I want like a decent mine shaft right next to the house. I did find one yesterday. Oh, I can't stand it when they're not head height there. Yesterday I found like a whole mine shaft dungeon. And uh, I fell into it. I fell down like a tiny little thing of water and it just kept going down. Oh, I might have... Oh, here it is! Wow, that is... That is some next level positioning right there. <laughs> awesome. I almost have like a working system in place then for uh, minecarts to go up and down on. I could simply just reroute some of these up here and have a uh, minecart at the top and bottom eventually and just sort of have it go all the way down because they've made the game so much deeper apparently. So uh, now it's like you have to go below where bedrock was before. Let's keep digging. I believe that's copper. Yes. I don't really need copper. It doesn't really do anything. Whoa. Okay. Uh, there's not really a lot I can do about this one. <laughs> Hold on, let's get a visual on this. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm not jumping. I ain't jumping, all right? I need to make like a like a bridge like a cross This is massive. Look at the size of this thing. Le cave. I guess I could go back and 
you know, I'll do you one better than making it two blocks wide. I'll start again. And I'll dig this way. Let's see if that goes any better. I'll make it have head height as well. How about that? Now it's all good. I don't have any music. This game is very odd. some doy. Is this meaning that I'm nearly getting to the edge? I tried playing Minecraft song on guitar, gave up after five minutes. <laughs> Which one? Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. I don't think it would be very, uh, I think it would only be good to people who like Minecraft, but other than that, it's not exactly a Minecraftian beast of a song, is it? This is going to be a difficult one to figure out, because there's a ravine underneath here, I think. Oh god, I go straight down to lava. Oh, I've awoken the locals. Hello down there. E. I've only got a few more blocks to dig down into now, so I am not jumping. You can royally lick my behind on that one. I am not jumping down this. I stay here two hours if you jump. <laughs> Yeet! I, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can stay here for three hours if I don't jump. How about that? Oh, there's the mineshaft up there. This is horrific looking. <laughs> Hour and a half. No. Five minutes if you don't jump. Wait, so I can guarantee you'll stay for five minutes longer than you would? Hey, I've, I've, I've got a choice of either you stay an unknown amount of time or you stay a definitive five minutes, so... I mean, financially speaking here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the certainty. That's something one of those, like, horrible gurus would say. If you're not busting your balls every five goddamn minutes of the day, trying to get two dollars extra, you're a fucking idiot, okay? Goddamn douchebag. What are you, fucking lazy? You didn't hike 48 miles just to get some... churros? <laughs> That's called lazy, bro. got to know that. We're all lazy. There's nothing wrong with being lazy.
Lazy is a symptom, not a trait. That's what I've found. i found the times where I'm lazy, it's probably the times where I've needed to be lazy most. But that will be totally different for everyone. That is not... Twisted's recommendations on life. That is Twisted's own personal life. Can I make my bed red? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, I'll leave it there for now. Um, if I find some flowers, they should be around here somewhere. Recently, in the latest Minecraft patch, red flowers were removed from the game, causing hatred for red people. Ah, there they are. It is indeed. Um, the sky. This music is perfect. Hold on. Let me give you... Uh, Okay, let's get going. Back to the mission. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't resist it, all right. <laughs> so dumb. I didn't even die bed. Just that? Okay, there we go. I probably, I'm sorry if I made poo poo come out. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Hello, Storm. Welcome. How are you doing? I was uh oh hold on I'll give you I'll give you a moment. <laughs> ha! Unlucky for you, I live totally alone and depressed. <coughs> oh fuck! I don't live alone. Uh right, I've made my bed red. We are currently trying to get our way down to this horrific-looking mine shaft. That is, um, I've got a dog. He's in the other room. I probably scared the shit out of him thinking about that, actually. Right, so if we go down here, we can see the terrifying mine that we need to build. Sharing is caring. Wait, oh, wait, you want to see the dog? Uh, I don't have any ability to show you the dog. Ah! Get the heck out of here. You ruffian. You absolute ruffian. Look at this thing. This is a uh, heck of a mine shaft. Whoa! Oh, they're shooting each other. Oh, he just, <laughs> he just fell to his death. Oh no, they are shooting each other. What are you guys doing down there? Oh, one of them won.
Yes, cave. Cave is the correct word. It's a bird to play. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the stream storm. Nice to meet you. We uh We don't really have a plan at the moment. I'm just making this a nice chill let's play. I swear I had a zoom in button. Hold on. Keybinds. I had a button to like zoom in. Toggle cinematic camera. And I'm just trying to understand math. Yeah, you are. Uh, what button haven't I used? I go for F3? No, F3 is taken up, isn't it? F4. Oh! Ew! Ew! Okay, this is kind of cool. It's Minecraft. Let's look this way. This is kind of making me feel sick, actually. Hold on, there we go. <laughs> what was my other c controls I had on here? I had... Nope. All right. I could have sworn I had a, uh, a hop bar button I could have pressed to um, zoom in, but I don't have it. Let's explore. This is the new 1.18 update, so I'm not a boomer. You alright down there, guy? Need some help? You are, buddy. I'll just leave you there. We've got a nice sort of like platform here to sort of start from. Get. Don't make me go. Ooh. <laughs> just stick one bamboo somewhere. Dirt. There you go. There's going to be bamboo down here now. Uh, should probably get more torches. Doesn't look like there's um. Oh, that's lapis there. Yeah, I need torches. There's an enderman over there. You can see his glowing eyes. Yeah, I've got to go back up and get some coal. So I've got also um, some tweaks put on. So as you can see, like if I switch to food on my hotbar, it lets me see how much food points they'll give me. And uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff on, so like I've got old-fashioned noises turned on. I've got a, I've got a l bunch of little things. So like for instance, stuff in my offhand is smaller. Don't know how to use it, but it's in my offhand. I'm not a boomer because I played Minecraft before all the nine-year-olds came onto it. Bear in mind, I was nine years old. That's how old Minecraft is. I'm 22 years old, and I first started playing Minecraft when I was eight or nine. A uh, year. I think I... No... Probably, yeah. Uh, I'm an old boy. Torches. It's my five second memory span. I started talking about something else. Put these torches. Oh! Oh, hello. Oh, this guy wants some absolute emeralds for 
some real crappy stuff. Uh -huh. Buddy, why do you want th fucking a diamond for moss blocks? The compressed ice isn't like a bad one, I guess. Huh? I think. I could make a compressed ice bridge across there, but it would take all of my emeralds. Uh, see ya, buddy. Let's go back down to the, uh, the shaft. Gong, 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 gong. I smell that like onions. <laughs> Don't say stuff like that because you'll start making me hungry. My stomach literally just growled. Nice. Thanks. You, you said one food and I immediately switched to the dark side. There you go. I instigated that. There's too many mobs down here. Look at this. How do you make a shield again? Alright. Let's uh, place as we go. I got off. I got off. Ah! We had biscuits at school today. Oh, nice. What kind of biscuits? I don't know, just biscuits. <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't know what it's like where you live, but in the UK, we call anything like cookies and all that sort of stuff. We call them biscuits. But in America, a biscuit is like a scone. Or scone, however you want to pronounce it. So like a scone or a scone is like a sort of very buttery, dense, sort of fluffy pastry. Um, it's not very, it's really good with, uh, like, jam and that sort of stuff. Um, God, so much lapis up there. Uh, but it's, it's not very, um, it's, it's one of those things where a lot of other cultures don't really like it. Because it's very, very English. And when I say very, very English, I mean brown. Not a lot of taste, but it makes you feel better when it's raining constantly. What is this? Oh, it's gold. If there's one thing you'll, you'd, you'd ever learn from going to the British Isles, so like Scotland, Wales, England. You learn that basically 90% of our home food here is, is brown and or deep fried. Especially the Scottish. They they really can't get enough of deep fried stuff. There's within reason. I mean, it's just like constantly awful to live <laughs> to, to live here nearly as well as I'd like. It's, it's constantly depressing for a lot of people so they just end up eating tons of really unhealthy foods. I swear there's a Scottish meal which is just every single thing on the plate is deep fried. It's a... It's like a whole dinner deep fried. So like, even uh, the vegetables be deep fried. There's something you notice that everything does taste better once it's deep fried. It uh it brings out so much flavour. Bring 
brings out lots of flavor in the deep fry. I don't actually eat a lot of deep fried food. I'm generally healthy with what I eat. <laughs> you try me, bruh. I'm f I'm fucking ripped, bruh. You want to meet some of these guns, bruh? I I never use the word bro, bruh. Ever. Or mate. Don't know why people just abuse that poor word. Uh. It wouldn't be fair. How would it not be fair? For all I know, you could be a six foot nine absolute beef. It's a nice word when others say it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you're an adult and I'm a teenager besides. I don't know. There are some teenagers that I have seen <laughs> that are huge. One time I met this, I was on like this local like party thing, right? And in the UK, we celebrate like bonfire night, which is um, Guy Fawkes night. Anyway, Guy Fawkes is like a guy who tried to blow up parliament building, etc. It's what V for Vendetta is all based on the movie, the Guy Fawkes mask thing. Um, but uh, we um, we celebrate like every, on the 4th every, every uh, year with like a bonfire and like fireworks displays and so on. And I'm at one of these festival things. And uh, and uh, this one guy is like, is this Icelandic family that's there. And my friend goes, hey, meet this person. <laughs> and my, my friend's like, hey, come meet this guy. Come meet this guy. He's like, he's like, how old do you think this guy is? And I was like, I don't know. 23, 22, something like that. I was like, he's 14. And this this guy, this 14-year-old kid was, no word of a lie, like six foot seven. And he was big. He was a chunky boy. He was the largest person I've ever encountered. And he was 14. I just think to myself, God damn, that that when when people ask you like, do you think you could do you think you could uh do you think you could survive in a fight against a hundred five year olds or a twelve ten year olds or something like that? I just think that kid when he's fully grown up will be like an adult to a child with me. Now a twelve year old is taller than me, and I'm not even sure. <laughs> Well, it depends. Like, five foot six is apparently average height for a woman. But then five foot six can be, like, average height for a man in other countries. Here, five foot six is the average height for a woman. Five foot six is, like, in centimeters... I forget sometimes, I, like, the UK is weird. We use a combination of metric and imperial, so it's, like, sometimes confusing to describe measurements. But, like, uh, yeah, I think I'm, like, 183 centimeters tall. And I think average height for a woman is, like, 165. And I think... Like, tall for a man is, like, 190 plus, I think. Oh, that makes sense. I was like... Well, you said you're a young girl as well, which probably means that you'll be, like... most. Apparently, most women go through, like, all their growth spurts when they're, like, 14. So, like, that when I say most, that is, like, the average... Like most kids grow taller. 
Like, my partner is the same height as me. And I'm 5'11", I think. So she's a tall woman. And she was that when she was, like, 14. But you'll probably get taller. If you're like 14, 15, you'll probably grow like a couple couple inches. I was a weird like case growing up. I uh I didn't stop growing until I was like twenty. I just continued growing. It was like a really slow but progressive growth. I like went through a growth spurt when I was like thirteen and became like, you know, the tallest person in the class. And then I it's like a year later, everyone else is all the other boys are like taller than me. And then I just progressively kept growing and kept growing, kept growing. Apparently you don't stop growing until you're like twenty one, so I wish I could be like two meters tall, but why? Do you know how horrible that is? Do you know how much food you have to eat to supply that? I struggle to feel full, and I'm only 5 foot 11. It does sound like it's kind of cool in an in, in idea, but then you realize just how much money that costs. You realize as you get older, just everything costs money. And if you're predisposed to being an absolute beefcake, that costs a lot of money. It don't pay to be big. Oh, do you know what I'll do with this, actually? There we go. That's kind of cool, right? And I'll put one here, too. Yeah. Not that. I like that. No, it's horrible. I'll just put it like there. I just make all of this. I think it's kind of cool to have it like um, sort of double strut. And if I grow, I would need to eat more, right? Yeah. Well, it it, it kind of depends. It doesn't exactly just work purely like that. If you're if you're taller, it means you've got like a larger frame, but it doesn't necessarily mean that your your muscles are bigger. Like your muscles are stronger. Something. It's just that when you're taller, you have more leverage on objects as well. So like. So, like, for instance, like, a good example, and if I grow, yeah, like, if, what's it like, so if you picked up, if you had, like, a bar, if you had, like, a metal bar that your hands could only just grab onto because the bar was so big, you're going to struggle to lift that thing up. Whereas if your hands were so big, they could just wrap around the bar, then you've got more leverage and you're going to be able to pick that thing up easier that's sort of like a basic example of like when you're bigger you're just sort of naturally able to do more stuff like that but um it doesn't always mean that you do that like if you eat a certain amount of food you'll you'll get like a certain weight <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just I don't know how to explain that. Um, how do I explain that any better? Yeah, like... You know those, like... What is it? Um, you know the, the, the bars that are in, like, a bus? The ones you hold on to? With the uh, stop button on them and so on. If you were, uh, if that bar was like two, 
if that bar was too thick for you to hold on to properly, like your fingers can't, your fingertips can't touch when you grab it, you're going to struggle to hold on to it when you get like violently turned around a corner. If the bus driver just makes a really quick turn, you're going to struggle to hold on to that bar because you don't have a good grip on the bar. But if your hands were bigger and your fingertips could touch, then you're going to be able to hold on to that bar way better. And you're going to be able to grip... Oh, hello. Um, you're going to be able to grip and actually, like, grip it better, even if your muscles are the same. Yeah. Oh, good God. Oh. Being tall would save my life right now. He got yeeted on. Yeah, it's, it's it's a pretty simple concept. It's just like that's the example of big, what being a bigger person gives you. Just sort of if something's bigger, it's easier for bigger people. That's why like everything in America is kind of scary if you're from like a small town like me. Like uh that was close. <laughs> Share some of your height, you don't need it anyway. Hey, I need my height. I, I feel like I'm the perfect height. I'm not small, but I'm not large either. Like, I'm not not massive. Stuff is built for me, but easier for me. The cars are the number one thing, right? So, like, in Europe, you go down a road, and the scariest thing is when, like, a big truck f comes past you, right? And you're like, ooh, that's kind of spooky, right next to you. If you drive a small car in America, you're dwarfed. Every single car there is enormous. You drive down the road and you just go, oh my god, we're tiny. This happened to me the first time I was, uh... This happened to me the first time that I went to America. We, were in, we chose like a regular car that we would have chosen if we went on like a trip somewhere within Europe. And then people are driving past us in Ford Raptor trucks and stuff like that. And we're like the same height as their tires. I'm like, oh, if we get in a car crash, we're, we're, we're the ones losing. If we get in a car crash, we're the ones that die. So that's like my biggest recommendation is like, if you go to America, make sure your family rents a larger car, even if it's more expensive. They go to school the day after school shooting. I guess it's more normal for them. <laughs> it's like part of the American culture now. South Park did a whole episode on it. Do you see that meme or that video of that school where they banned backpacks? Whoa, why did I do that? What's wrong with me? Why did I jump up here? Sadly, if you do if you do ever go to America and you want to go like from point A to point B, a car is your only way of doing it. The public transport there is terrible. In nearly everywhere. Even the cities, it can be just god awful. Like LA is just the worst for that. There's no it's not like Europe where you have like crossroads and and like ways of getting to and from one side of the road to the other, it's impossible. You, you literally have to have a car. It's kind of like a nice little... This is a big cavern. Big cavern. It's just because it's so big. Like, if you look on a map, Europe is roughly the same size as America. Like, the whole of Europe is nearly the same size as America. So it's like... You know, if you imagine your country is that big, 
everything just needs to be scaled up. I only got a really small amount of stuff from that trip, didn't I? Did I miss anything? I missed all this stuff in the roof up here, didn't I? Where is it? There it is. It is quite cool though. I would recommend going there for a trip. Like, uh, one of the weird parts of America is, like, you know, GTA games, you hear people shouting, like, profanity across the street from one another. I'll never understand how you can be, fift you be 15 to drive a car and 21 to drink there. It's not 15 to drive there. It's 17, right? You can't drive a car in America at 15. There's no way that it's 15 years old. 15 was a parent with the... God. Well, it does make sense with the fact that you just basically need a car to get everywhere. That, that it would be like that. It's not a good thing in any way, shape or form, but like... Yeah, it's really not a good thing in any way. But, um... Well, I mean, you can get a motorbike here at 14. Where I live. No, only a light one. You can't get, like, a crazy... You know... Harley Davidson type thing. But you can go around on a motorbike here. A little 50cc motorbike at 14. I, I never knew that, you, that it was such a low age. It's 17 to drive here. It's you're like there's no um there's no like work around I don't think. I think it's like you're 17 years old or you're not 17 years old. That's the way it works. But it's right. It's like. 21 to drink there is a bit funny, isn't it? Because, like, you can join the military at 16 years old in most countries. Like, 16 is, like, the, the age that you can join most militaries. Yeah, you aren't allowed to drink until you're 18 here. But so bas basically what your country is saying is you're allowed to die for it at the age of 16, but you are not in any way, shape, or form allowed alcohol. Good heavens, no. That would override your perfect judgment. If you had perfect judgment, you probably wouldn't join the military, to be honest. But... So I got a bunch of stuff. Hey, Freezy. Should build a little little farm. Got a bunch of seeds. Pumpkin, melon, cocoa, cacao, cocoa. It is cocoa. Uh oh yeah. I'm glad it's working too. I would genuinely I woke up and uh the first thing I thought was I wonder if Minecraft's working. <laughs> queen meets cow. Cow meet queen. I believe I've known Queen longer than I've, I've known quite a lot of people on my stream, actually. Got a nice little twist system there.
Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a a hoe. Donk donk. I need a dog. <laughs> Cal, don't be facetious. There's no need to put that many eyes. Can't trust him with a dog, you should know that already. I would eat the dog. Uh, guess I'll just do this one here. Like that. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just sort of stomp out. That. 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 Die. There you go. Die. Done. Should I put a fence around this thing? Is this a... Uh, is this something I should put a fence around? Or should I not bother? And I will do. I will put a bit of water down here. I found a massive, like, chasm. And I uh, lit it up. That should do some work. Gives me uh, the ability to go down there now. Let's go have a look. Whoa, that's psychedelic. That's weird. Oh, I'm going to drown. I forgot. <laughs> I drowned in a one block of water. Diamonds? What do you mean, diamonds? There are no diamonds around here. Now you got me on edge. Where are these diamonds you're talking about, huh? That's coal, if it's that you're talking about. Down? Where are these diamonds you speak of? Somewhere. You asshole. Jesus, this thing is scary. Look at the size of this. <laughs> Broke his ankles. That's not facetious. I was matching Queen's energy. <laughs> okay, I trust you. Oh my god. What is happening here? How have I put water here and now I made the lava worse? How have I done this? I made a volcano by pouring water. Uh, I've really screwed myself over with that. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm a good guy. Sort of. I'm a good person, okay. I don't feel any emotions for other people. And I have a general dislike 
towards people that are foreign. But I'm a good person. That's a joke, by the way. I'm making a joke. I know it kind of takes away from the joke, explaining the joke, but that's just one of those things where you could clip it and then it'll be like, banned. I was like, no. Shit, oh my god, I think those are actually diamonds down there. Queen, how did you... All right. All right, we've got Queen the Soothsayer. Can see all and everything. Just just somehow knew there were diamonds down here. How did you turn wall hacks on on my god damn string? Okay. That's totally diamonds. Okay. Uh, I didn't bring an extra pickaxe with me, but I can make one. This stuff sounds awful when you mine it. It sounds like some good old mac and cheese. Oh my god, it's diamonds! Let's go get diamonds, guys! Okay. You bastard. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> he did the same thing yesterday, God. Stop clipping my worst bits. I think I'm getting closer down. It's all my worst bits. You should. That's a whole video title. Twisted's worst bits. And it's just the whole stream. How far down do I go? Okay. All right, I made it down. Oh. Two. Nice. Nice. Two is the worst amount it could have given me. One would have been worse, actually. But three would have been perfect. Now I, I can just about make a third of a pickaxe. Two thirds. Pickaxe. I never said I was good at maths. God, it's pitch black. I'm getting real uh, forest vibes from this. I'm going to start hearing, like, screams soon. It is New West, but it's good that we don't have channel points. Wait, what do you mean by that? Redeem 500 points to drop something. I'm not, I'm not joking. I think that's a great idea. But this is the latest version of Minecraft. I don't think any of those mods actually do anything at the moment. They're too broken. Ow! God damn! Oh, oh right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm... Do you know what? I'm actually glad. I'm almost happy. But that's, uh... That's not the way it is. Oh, pull that. I could redeem 1k and get you to drop both diamonds. Well, I would just I would just make every single one of those points 
a thousand, <laughs> a thousand pesos. That's pretty cool looking there. Look at that. Look at that shit. Hi, buddy. So, 35 pounds. <laughs> is that how much it is? <laughs> Imagine I actually did that. 35 pounds and, I, and I'll drop two items in a video game. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I know people do that, but like, that is, that is some, you're cheating some people out of money on that one. I know, I don't like that though. I like, I feel like it would be part of my job to educate people on saving their goddamn money. I can understand donating stuff to streams, like, uh, donating money or something like that to like I don't like the word donate because it makes it sound like I'm living in like a third world country and I can't afford anything blah blah but it's like I, I guess tip, gift I'm going to use the word gift if somebody were to gift me money then then that's fine like gifting money to to like ink to keep the stream going and everything else like that or gifting to make the, the discord server better and that kind of thing i understand that that's great um but like um i don't know just giving money like that i know it's like free money and a lot of people are happy to do it but there's something about it just feels a bit like you're scamming people out of money I think if I was going to say to people, like, if you want to donate money, then sure, go for it. Donate any amount of money you want. But beyond, like, a certain amount of money, I would, like, probably sell merchandise and say, you know, here's, here's at least something for spending that amount of money. Like, uh, like you spent, like, 35 pounds, so, you know... You should get a t-shirt for that or something. I don't know. A free, a free Asda delivery. <laughs> I think Asda deliveries cost way more than that though, don't they? Costs like forty pounds a trip or something. Okay, that's all good. Yep. Beep beep pop. I was just taking a quick water break. What should I make next? Maybe an anvil? Maybe I should explore this area around here a tiny bit more? Put all my my jewels in there. All my jewel e cigarettes. That's that's a technical jewel.
organic stuff can go in here, I guess. There we go. Plant. Plant. I haven't really looked around here or anything. I kind of went across there to mine some, chop some trees even. Yeah, let's go across here. Let's go and have a look. I can get rid of some of these saplings. Hopefully this stuff grows, because I don't actually remember how much space they need, but I'm just putting them like a tree's distance away. Oh hey, a beehive thing. This is an interesting bit of... Is this one of those ones where I could... Oh, I was about to say, if I could dig one block and it would all pour out. Some interesting plants. Oh yeah, I forgot about this thing. This thing's huge. This is like a massive cliff. Maybe I should go to the top and like turn up my render distance so I can see what's going on. Let's go and have a look. Some white. I'll bring all these home. If it's a different breed of like flower, then I'll take it back. Ah, I got bubonks. Hold on, let me check what those bubonks are. My sister. Uh, nothing that interesting just of yet. It's very cool looking though. What FPS am I getting? Ninety something. Let's turn up the uh, the old uh, the old uh, the old um. Fuck it, thirty two. That didn't make my FPS go down by much. It probably will in the future. Oh, I can feel it now. Good lord. Yep, I can definitely feel the FPS now. God damn. I can see much. There's a swamp over there, I think. That's a swamp. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a swamp right there. Got some lava. Got a few more trees and stuff. Wow. My FPS is at 30 and below. I should turn this down now. What if I go to 21? Oh, that's really not that much. 
50 FPS. I'll be okay with 60. I'll turn it down a little bit. Video 16. Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah, 16 seems about perfect. Because I can see most of the way back to home. Let's jump over this hill. See what's on the other side. Got some snow. Preferably need to find a village, actually. Is that through there? A corner of my eye. I can see something through there. It looks like dirt, maybe. I can definitely see dirt, but... Correct. Ooh. Let's try and find some more stuff. Keep going this way. I think I saw something interesting. Oh, hey. Bunch of dolls. They look tasty. Wow, it's just fields. I've managed to find one of the most peaceful areas. Up. Yep. Bonk, bonk. Oops. Let's keep going this direction. The shader is like the perfect amount of shading. not over the top kind of just keeps the game normal but adds some nice effect wow i'm gonna struggle to find some uh villages at this rate sorry bud you did interesting looking lad. This is very pretty. Look, look at that. That's one heck of a mountain. Jeebus, look at that. Screenshot. Save that one. I'm looping back round to sort of see, kind of go everywhere that I was looking at. Wow, look at this stuff. So I've got a birchwood forest. 
bunch of hills. Let's try and, uh, try and get back home before nightfall. Don't want to fight through constant nighttime. Looks like it's getting a bit dark. Wow, that's bright. Look at that. Ooh. Ouch. Yep. Uh oh. Oh wow, this is the worst way I could have gone. Can't move. Uh. Okay, I've got to be careful now. Traveling through some scary lands. Everything's a cliff. Good God. It's all cliffy. That is a cliff. Look at this cliff. My God. Mein Gott. Let's uh let's keep going. I believe I'm going the right way home. Up, up. Oh, I missed. I've only got a few stakes left and the zombies are encroaching. Imagine if you actually worked like this as a human. If you got injured in any way, you just had to immediately eat food. This is a swamp. I am not going the right way home. Oh no, I recognize these pumpkins though. I think we saw them on the hill. If I remember rightly, that pumpkin was where I think it is. We might be going the right way anyway. We just kind of got to loop a bit. This is kelp. It's not. Ow. Dick move. I think that's the way. This is do where. Up. 
Hip, pop. I think once I get back, I'll probably switch to another game. Uh, yeah, I'll probably switch to another game. And then just sort of end episode two of this. If we're going by episodes, episode one was nearly three hours. So I kind of want a little bit of like, you can sort of maybe even slightly come close to digesting all of this. Whoa, that was close. So I think I'm at the apt point in which I can use the term well and truly fucked. Right, I'm just going to go from high point to high point. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, bud. Those are pretty rare, aren't they? Spider jockeys, is that what they're called? Skeleton jockeys? God, it's so dark. I think I might have uh, put myself in the stink. I think I was going the wrong way that whole time. And I think I just need to go the complete opposite way of where I was going. <laughs> At some point, maybe I'll triangulate my way back. Feels like old Minecraft now. I got the the music playing. I'm lost. <laughs> Could be turning into funeral music. I think this is the right way. Because I saw this swamp and it was sort of way into the right of my house. I think I just need to like... Go the opposite way. Wow, that's uh, very pretty. Do you know what? I think I'll just find my way home off stream. <laughs> Look at this. Glamour shot. Cool. All right. I'll be right back. Smooch. <laughs> Kiss. Be up,